Aloha, this is David Bugliano, Executive Chef of the Fairmont Orchid, and I'm thrilled to bring you to my home today. So we are creating a very homey, wonderful dish for um, the Hawaiian culture. And what we have is loco moco. Loco moco is especially important to this island because it originated here in Hilo at the Lincoln Grill in 1949. So I'm going to take you through the ingredients. Uh, very simple. We have rice. We have some beautiful hamburger patties here that I got from the Waimea Butcher Shop. These are grass-fed and local as well. Uh, we're going to make a simple mushroom uh, gravy. We have our mushrooms. We're going to thicken it up with a little slurry. I also have a bone broth here that I'm going to use to make a nice brown gravy. And then finally, we're going to put a fried egg on top. So I'm going to start taking you through this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to saute off mushrooms. Ooh, and that's nice and hot. That's what I like when I saute mushrooms. I want my pan ripping hot because mushrooms have a very high water content. So we want to make sure we get some good caramelization going right off the bat. If not, all that lovely flavor from the mushroom just kind of leaks off, so we want to trap all that in there. And that's beautiful. Take a look at that. That's what we want, a nice hot pan. Whenever you're cooking, whenever you're sauteing, you want to cook with high heat, and that's what we're doing here. So we're going to try to get this nice and caramelized. Let's make sure we season our mushrooms too, season everything. Salt brings out flavor, and pepper. Pepper is just delicious, so I like putting pepper in it as well. So we're going to put copious amounts of pepper in here. And it's sauteing very nicely. As you can see, we're getting some good caramelization. For the sake of time, I'm going to kind of walk you through the rest of it. We would let this go a little longer, but we are going to add our bone broth right now. So a nice, beautiful, rich brown broth here that we made from uh, local beef bones as well. And at this point, you're going to want to let it come up to a simmer. As it comes to a simmer and not too hard of a boil, you're going to add a slurry in here. And a slurry is just a very quick way to thicken a sauce. It's a water and it's got cornstarch in it. So you would add that kind of as it's coming in. We're gonna add a little bit because we're already kind of getting a, a nice kind of rolling boil there as well. And we're gonna turn it down a little bit. And now we're gonna to get to the fun part. So we're gonna let that go and our sauce will finish. Now we're gonna to get to our burger. So we're gonna season our burger, salt and pepper as well. Make a mess, it's not a big deal. It's easy to clean up. And we're going to go right to the pan here. Get a little more high heat going. We'll get all of them in here. I have a family of four, so I'm going to be hungry. We'll have a, the youngest ones left to split it. Put a little pepper on here as well. And same thing, we've got a nice hot pan going. I'm using a cast iron pan. I love cooking in cast iron. It gets very hot. Um, this is my grandfather's cast iron pan, so this has been passed down from generation to generation. It's very well seasoned. And right now we're getting good caramelization on one side. And let's just take a look. Take a look at how we're doing. Still needs a little more time. So we're just going to let it go. And this is going to be a perfect thing to cook your burger on. Finally, I'm going to cook an egg. And we'll come back to our burger in a minute. So whenever you're cooking eggs, make sure the temperature's not too high. And this is a nice low temperature. We're going to add our egg to it. And what we want is a beautiful sunny side up egg. And I'm going to give you a good way to cheat here to make a perfect sunny side up egg. Add a little bit of water. Cover it. And call it a day. So let's take a look at our burgers. I'm sure they're beautiful by this point. We'll flip one of them. Probably want to let it get a little more caramelized, but you get the picture. Finally. We've got our sauce. We made some rice. I've got a rice cooker back here. Any self-respecting Hawaiian cooks their rice in this. This is beautiful. So we're going to put our rice on the bottom. You have a beautiful burger on top. We top it with a fried egg, and it's smothered in that beautiful mushroom gravy. Finally, to give it a little color, I have some microgreens here from EO Farms. We can put a little more on top here. And that's a wrap. I'm starving. I've been swimming. I've been walking. I've been enjoying the Hawaii weather. And I'm going to go cow-cow. So I hope you do the same. Mahalo.